Hi guys, right, so welcome to the final part of uh, this chariot. I'm just moving it out of the way, that was a test of paint. If I'm board there, right, so. Chariot's done, well it's now a cannon. And the two. What would you call them? I don't know. The people manning the cannon. So we got him, so this was when I this was the new colour scheme for the clan one I tested. It turned out quite nice. I do like the contrast between the uh, really bright skin and the, the dark material of the clothes. So, what we're doing now is I went out to Marked. Now there's mistakes, these are mistakes, these, because I was testing it. And, so the front, the furthest one is this end. So to this end are the ones where they'll be actually used. So I painted it white, marked it where their feet are going to go. Like that, so he'll go there. That's just so I can texture this up with the, the snow. And then I've only got to put a little bit of snow around their feet then. Just to say I was trying to get the brush in all the different places so I marked it up and then put the wheels on the front there and mark that up so that will sit there like that and then the, the people manning the cannon will stand back here now I've just got some uh, bits of rock I've got a tub of rocks what I what I use I just bought a, a big bag from the DIY shop got a just few out to keep them in a tub use them every now and again then get my tacky glue I'm going to stick this down with tacky glue because it might be a little bit stronger where do we want these have a look so we've got the cannon which is going to sit just there so I think what we'll do is we'll start with this flat rock the glue and we'll have that there What we'll do is we'll put this one up against it, like that, and then we'll have one more, maybe, maybe there, yeah, we'll do that. Right. That's that. That's where the cannon will sit in regards to the rock, so we take that back off. So that's our rock. So I'm gonna let that dry. And we'll get we'll get them painted and we'll start uh, flocking it up with snow. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to paint the rock. So we're going to grab a dark grey. Where I'm, I'm using Mechanica's standard grey, a white or a light grey. No, I'll use it or thorn grey and just a black wash. Any black wash will do. So what we're going to do is we get the uh, dark grey, what you've got, and we'll just base that all over the rocks. Get a nice clean base coat onto the uh, rocks, ready for the next layer. So now we take the light grey or the white what you've got and we'll do a heavy dry brush over the rocks just to bring out all those edge highlights. Now all we're going to do is we're going to grab that black wash and we're just going to put that all over the rocks after the dry brush. So here we're now making the snow mix, which is one part PVA glue and one part woodland scenic soft flake snow. Now mix that up and then start getting it on the base. But not in the areas where we marked out as we will go back in later once the model's glued on. Make sure to keep using the model as reference so you're not getting the snow too thick in areas that you don't want it, as you don't want the model to be floating on the snow, which may affect the gluing later as it may not be in contact with the base. Now it does take a little while to get the snow to stick to the base, but that may have just been because my glue was going off a little bit. 
and just work it all around. Now once you've got it started, it does start to stick to itself, making it easier to put more on. And you'll see me at the end here as well, just put some on the rocks, just trying to add a little bit of realism to it as well. Um, then you'll have to leave this to dry. Now you'll have to leave this dry to for a few hours, just because of all that PVA glue. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get some super glue uh, gel and we're just going to glue all these down. I like the gel because it, uh, it's a bit thicker so it, the thinner parts of the models will stick easier to the base. Get that on there, get them all lined up where you need to. Now I just want a bit of plastic glue just around the places where I've left the snow off. So here it is, the final completed model. There it is, Canon along with his two I don't even know what they're called. I don't know what they're called. Leave in the comments if you know what they're called. But well, I think the snow turned out quite nicely. The lumpy, fresh snow look. Looks itself turned out quite nice. It's quite an easy basic colour scheme. I do like my uh, some of the, the new colours what I'm doing. I just wish I hadn't painted my entire the rest of my army in the uh, other ones. So yeah, so that's the cannon and the little bits on the rocks as well. So the rocks blending quite nicely as well with the snow. So they just look like they've been placed there because of putting them down first and then building the snow up to them. Just blends them in a little bit more. And then I've put the snow around like the wheels and stuff. Just to uh, really blend that in. Just got to run a bit of black paint around the, the base but that's uh, nothing major. Now the snow with the glue, I put some water in my glue. Just to thin it down because it was quite thick because it had been on my shelf for a while. Put some water in there, thinned it down and you can kind of tell when it's, it just moves around the bottle a bit easier um, and then mix that in with the snow and it was it was so much easier to put on especially when I'm coming around to like putting it around by their feet and everything. Just made it so much easier so you can see it's gone around by their feet and it blends in quite well with the with the previous layer I put on which I left the gaps everywhere and then I built the snow up to where it's underneath and it's quite easy to put on with a brush but yeah there we have it I converted a chariot into a cannon with the two orcs on it hope you like this video guys and I'll catch you again next time Thanks for watching that video guys. Okay, as usual over there to the left is a little button if you do want to subscribe to my channel. Please leave a like and a comment if you wish so as well. And over there to the right is the link to a previous video in this series in regards to the creation of this canon. Thanks again guys.